Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida, with your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The S&P is off 53 points, one and a quarter percent. The Dow down 367, just over one percent. One and six tenths for the Nasdaq 100. That's 246. One and four tenths for the Russell. 29 points. Semis are off two and a quarter percent. 79 points to the downside. Gold is up 30 bucks. She's trading out at 1900 and 70 pennies. Light sweet crude is trading out at 89.50. That's back two dollars and 33 cents. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We get by take a look at the ES mini. And really, all that we can say here is that it's trading between trend line support. And trend line resistance. At some point in time, uh, this will go ahead and uh, get out of that snow cone out there. But right now, the support levels, you know, it's first price is trade back, traded back to the bottom or the center of its uh, bullish structured daily profile, 43.96. So not much to really talk about there. You got the spot volatonics still above its 50 day exponential moving average. That's always a bearish directional signal for the S&P, the NQ, just like the ES trading between trend line support, trend line resistance. There is that new daily profile did form yesterday, 13, 14, 342 is support. We're trading at 14, 345. The U.S. dollar index uh, almost really doing the same thing as the ES and the NQ trading between trend line support and resistance out there. That is not the message for gold. Gold is breaking out above a prior swing point. It's breaking out above its TD9 count from two days ago. That's this suggests a strong momentum rally to the upside. If we take a look at silver, she's trading right into resistance. That is at 23.92. Silver right now is trading at 23.90. 23.92 is the top of its daily profile. Light sweet crude, even though it's pulling back, it's still holding the top of the daily profile. So that's the level to watch here. Uh, that level is 91.12. We're trading at 91.26. Now, if price closed below 91.12, that'll be a signal to expect price to pull back to 88.39 or 88.39 to 87.02. Two. Bullish structure daily profile out there, but right now support has held. Natural gas, so this is kind of an interesting one. So price had traded below the bottom of its um, slightly bullish structure. I don't even know if that was bullish, bullish structured. Like price right now is making a determination whether or not it's going to stay with inside that daily profile. So you need to close about four dollars and forty-eight cents. That's the March contract that we're looking at. You've got a nice confirmed TD9 count bottom inside the 30-year Treasury. But it's found resistance at the bottom of that daily profile, 151.28. That's a level that price needs to close above to suggest that the hey, price would run up to its descending trend line. Lots of descending trend lines out there, folks. G-Roach with TFNN. Stay tuned for the trade.